Hey, this is Lynn. It is December 31st, 2023. So tomorrow is the first day of 2024. And I had an interesting day yesterday. Dave and I went to go visit his cousin and her husband. And, but we met them at their church. They are Seventh-day Adventists. And we spent the day with vegetarians. It was very interesting. And we love her and her, the, his cousin knows how we eat. But of course, at the church, they are all vegetarians. It was an interesting day. So, I mean, I came away thinking, Imagine if somebody just got done telling me that they were a vegetarian and that they don't eat any meat. And then I proceeded to bring them a plate full of meat and push it at them and say, here, you'll like this. I like, they'd be offended. I'm sure like I wouldn't do that. Right. I don't think anybody would do that because it's like if they just got done telling you that they're a vegetarian, the last thing you're going to do is shove a bunch of meat in their face. They would think, what's wrong with you? <laughs> well, that's pretty much just what happened to me. And it's not like, I mean, yeah, there was a bunch of people. They had they had a uh, like a potluck, a vegetarian potluck. Like they had more than one, one service because they were having this guest speaker. So they had their regular minister and then they had a potluck. Well, no, then they, they had the guest speaker. He gave his first session and then they had a potluck and then we were going to go back for his second session. And of course the people that don't know us are like, yeah, you know, come you have the potluck. And I, I just told them, oh, you know, we already ate, but there was this one couple that we met, we were actually talking to. And, you know, my husband is Czech. His parents were born and raised in Czechoslovakia and they were from there as well. A little bit older than us. Um, but had been in this country for quite a while. And, you know, they asked us, are you going to go eat? And, and I said, no, you know, we only eat meat. And they seemed, they were fine with it. Actually, they eat meat too. They're not just vegetarian. Um, but his wife seemed to be like really interested. And she knew Jordan Peterson. She knew of, of him and the fact that he eats meat, only meat. And um, so we were conversing about this. And I told her, well, you know, like, just like, you know, Michaela Peterson, Jordan's daughter has an autoimmune disease and it's really helped her. I mean, I have an immune system disease and so eating only meat has really been beneficial for me and I've lost a lot of weight and my health is so much better. And she was like, seemed to be really understanding. And I was going, oh, cool. Yeah. There's somebody here that seems to get it. And so we went into where everybody was eating, but there was like a room kind of past them where like their youth area is. And there was some couches there. So we went and sat down in the couches. I swear this woman must have like been following us because we barely sat down and here she shows up with a little bowl, you know, the little disposable bowl and a tin full of her homemade Christmas cookies, all these varieties of cookies. And she comes to us with them and we're like, Oh no, thank you. No, thank you. What? But no, she puts the bowl down in the middle of the coffee table in front of us and starts dishing them out. Oh, here, have this one, have this one. She gave us a bowl full of her cookies. And I'm just looking at her like, seriously, did I not just finish telling you that I only eat meat and how it's improved my health? And he, like, she literally was shoving these cookies at us. I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Like, honestly, and you probably, if you're a carnivore, you've probably experienced this before. Like you tell people that you only eat meat. I swear they don't believe you. I, they're like, well, you say that, but let me tempt you. <laughs> like, would you do that to an alcoholic? Seriously? Would you, someone told you they were an alcoholic and they don't drink alcohol. Would you then kind of start waving all this alcohol in front of them? No, you wouldn't do that. Anyways, I was just like, astonished at the audacity of uh, unbelievable. And then later, you know, late later, her husband came around and was trying to trying to get us to eat the same tin of cookies. And we said, "No, your wife already gave us some." And we brought. I mean, what were we supposed to do with the bowl of cookies? We brought it home, and I have it someplace. My in laws are coming. <laughs> It's a Czech thing too. These Czech women at Christmas time, they bake tons of cookies. I used to, like my mother-in-law would, every holiday would bring 
a, a tin of these cookies. I probably ate 90% of the tin. Like Dave can moderate. I can't. I would eat like 90% at least of the tin of cookies over like the week after she, she came and brought them. Um, and, and they're coming today. And Dave and I got in a little argument cause I'm like, could you ask your mom not to bring the cookies? And he won't. He's like, well, it'll make her feel bad. I'm like, <sighs> anyways, he did promise he won't let any of them into the house. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. <laughs> but you know, one thing that I told him this morning is that, you know, I'm actually very, very strong, but anybody who has an addiction to a particular food or whatever, if you keep waving it in front of you, me and pushing it and pushing it, those initial thoughts are going to creep into your mind. And I found that they were like, I was actually thinking, Oh, maybe I should, I could just have one. That's a deadly thought for me because that's the thought that started me spiraling back out of control and ended up with me, my before picture. So for me, having everybody waving all of these things that were the things I would previously engorge myself on in front of me, I found that I started to have those thoughts. And I'm like, I've got to do everything I can to protect myself because I don't want to go and spiral back out of control because I know the power that it has over me. I cannot moderate. I've shown that to myself over the decades. Every time I have tried, I have failed. If I give in to that, the little justification that comes into your mind and that's how it starts. It starts with, Oh, it won't hurt me to have one. And then I have one and I like, I feel fine. So, so that just validates that thought that, oh, it won't hurt me. So then what happens? I have another and then I have another and then I have another. And before you know it, I've eaten way too much, if not all of it. And then two, three days later, I pay for it. And the addiction is then back in full swing, that addiction monster is back in control. And next thing you know, my health is horrible again. And I'm back to my before picture. So the holidays are hard for people. I know that it's hard when you're trying to stick with an eating plan. And I have not cheated and I am not going to cheat. But I at least wanted to admit that I, those thoughts have come into my mind and I know that I get a lot of comments on how strong I am. And I thank God that I've been able to be this strong, but I have made the decision ahead of time that I'm not going to eat any of any of this food. And so, but that making that decision doesn't mean that the thought doesn't come into my mind, but it's up to me what I do with it. And I have become quite aggressive today in defending myself because of what happened yesterday. And now Dave's cousins were, were fine. Like we ended up bringing our air fryer and we brought, I bought a, I packed a, like a little cooler with some like chomps beef sticks. I had like hard boiled eggs for Dave and some little cheese rounds for him. And he, there's, he likes these chicken skins. There's like a little potato chip type package, but it's chicken skins. He likes those. He didn't end up eating those, but, and then I brought salmon cause I know that they will occasionally eat fish. So I didn't bring beef to cook. I just didn't want to, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive and I talked to her ahead of time and I asked her, is it okay if we bring salmon and bring our air fryer? And she said, yeah, it's fine. In fact, once we got there, she said, you know, I, I would have bought, I went out and bought, I would have went out and bought salmon, but I told her, don't worry about it. Like we have this salmon already. I just had to defrost it. And so we cooked in the air fryer and I brought my Redmond salt and, um, you know, we ate the salmon and they had already eaten like stuff themselves at this, at this, uh, you know, 
potluck. So they weren't hungry. So we ate the salmon and it was fine. Their dogs were dying over the salmon. <laughs> Their dogs were like, please, can I have some? Um, but, you know, they were really astonished at the weight loss and that I've had. They were really noticeable because the last time we saw them, I think I was just getting started on the carnivore diet. So maybe early June, um, maybe even May. I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I think it was probably early June, but, um, yeah, I've changed a lot because I remember when we went out with them, they, we went out to this buffet at this uh, country club and it did have meat options and that's why we went It had a lot of vegetarian options for them and it had meat options for us but the chairs at the table had were you know they had arms and i didn't really fit in the chair like in order to even fit in the chair i had to scoot way way up to just like barely be on the ch chair because so the bulk of me was hanging over it and the server there had to go find me a chair that didn't have arms that i could fit in that was embarrassing. Like, so that was the last time they saw me was when that happened. And so, in fact, it was really funny yesterday. So his cousin said, oh, maybe I should start eating meat. Because, you know, she's always, she's overweight. She's always trying to lose weight. And I didn't push it. I, you know, but I said, well, if you did, you'd have to start really slow. Because, I mean, she has never had meat in her entire life. Like, since the day she was born. I told her your gut microbiome would need need to adjust, but I, she's not going to do it. She's been a vegetarian her whole life, right? But it was so I had to laugh because when we when we said goodbye and everything, one of the things she said was, you know, maybe next time you're here you'll be normal. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, if me eating only meat is not normal, then how is eating only vegetables normal? <laughs> I, I would assume normal would be in most people's view, eating a balanced diet. So it's like, no one in this room is normal. <laughs> but I told her, I said, you know, if I continue to feel as healthy and as good as I am, I'm probably not going to stop eating this way. And so she kind of nodded and said, yeah, yeah, she understood. It, it, but it's just interesting how it's okay to make comments like that to someone who's a carnivore. And I get it, and my husband keeps reminding me, they don't get it. They don't understand. They don't comprehend it. And he's right. They don't. And I try to keep a sense of humor about it. I do try. What irritates me the most is when things are brought into my home by people who know that this is the way we eat. And... Maybe I need to have a sit down with people and say, I am an addict. And I know a lot of you will say you were an addict, but for the sake of these people to say, I am an addict. Don't bring sugar into my home, just like you would not bring alcohol to an alcoholic. I don't know if that's what it's going to take for them to understand. I got really mad at my daughter because she went, her and her fiance several weeks, couple weeks back went to, there's a wonderful, cool town called Leavenworth and it's not the concentration camp. It's here in Washington. It's a, like a Bavarian village. It's really amazing and it's a tourist attraction and it's beautiful in the winter time and you know, they could, you could do hot horse drawn carriage rides in the snow and it's all lit up and it's every shop is all Bavarian. All the, like you, it's like going into a Bavarian village with all of the, the shops are all painted with the flowers and all the beautiful colors and it's awesome. But anyways, um, they went there and she brought back black licorice for my, for Dave. And I'm like, why would you do that? You know how we eat. And I got really upset with her. It's like with the people that I live with, um, you know, like fine, have it for yourself. And she does. She has her own stash of stuff, but don't bring it for us, you know. So, yeah, I have to draw some boundaries. And I realize some people will say live and let live. And I, I try to. I do. Like I said, I'm a daughter. I don't tell her not to eat junk food. And she has her fair share of junk food. And she's got her junk drawer where she keeps her stuff. And I just tell them, I don't want to see it. You know, you eat, 
you eat it behind closed doors. I just don't want to see it because like, I just feel like this is my home. I need to set the rules in my own home. What other people do in their home, fine, but I need to set the rules in my home and I have to, I have to aggressively protect myself. Otherwise I'm going to end up back where I started, which would be tragic. Um, anyways, so that's kind of my thoughts on yesterday and just my whole experience around all the vegetarians and I get it. They don't understand. Um, and so that's, which is why I didn't tell, you know, only that one couple is the only couple that we told. <laughs> They're the ones that pushed the, the cookies on us. <sighs> Sigh. Anyways, I hope that everyone's having a wonderful New Year's Eve. Make good food choices. I'm anxious to see if you've made, you're making New Year's resolutions. And um, I shared, I did a live stream, just kind of an impromptu live stream the other day where I shared New Year's resolutions. Uh, tomorrow is my weigh-in video. I'll go ahead and go over my resolutions again. I usually don't make resolutions, but I do have a, re a resolution that I've making for this coming year and I will share that in my next video so I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day and you had a great week and you've enjoyed the time with your friends and family and I will see you in the next video bye-bye